Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I don't know why I said at the end of the last part that I was going to possibly look it up, because that's totally unlike me, especially since I've been saying this is a blind run this whole time. It's like I was giving up too fast or something in the last part, but anyway, since my only lead to see if there is a way to get five stars are these Nabbit stages, potentially, I am going to go through them, and... I am going to show you the penguin suit along the way. You have the ability to throw ice balls, like if you were Ice Mario. But you also have traction, like normal land when you're on ice. And you can also slide on your belly, like you could do with the Koopa suit back in uh, the first new Super Mario Brothers game. Hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that in this catch nabbit race of sorts. This shouldn't be too difficult, I think. Oh, maybe it will be. Oh, because there's... He can go through obstacles that I can't. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I have a chance at getting him. Oh, poopers, I took a hit in my risky attempt to get him. My god, he's fast. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! So, yeah, my intention is to catch him on all the stages that he appears in. Hopefully. <laughs> and that will hopefully give me a... Um, a fifth star in my save file. Maybe. And I'm, I'm guessing that I'm gonna have to play a stage for him to appear again. And I wonder, can... Uh, you can get that! <laughs> Without the penguin getting in your way. It didn't seem like you could at first because it felt like I couldn't move, but yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'll ditch that. So I guess in order for him to appear... I've got to play another stage, maybe? <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is go back to one of the first ones here. And just so I can show you the full abilities of the penguin suit, I'm not going to cut this out here. I'm just going to give you a demonstration of how it's like. So you got these ice balls, very, very, very similar to... Uh, Ice Mario there, and you've got the same abilities as, that, as that, that as well, and there's your slidey thingy, but you can only do that when you are running at a fast enough speed. You press down to do that slide, and you can go, Wee! Oh, shoot! Jump up! <laughs> I didn't jump early enough, dang it. Whoa. But yeah, that's the ability of the penguin suit there, and uh, as I said, you also have traction on ice, which would normally make you slide around. So that's also a benefit to you as well. So this is ideal in Ice Worlds, though. It kind of, you know, takes away the challenge of Ice Worlds as a result, because Ice was, as you know, designed to annoy you. <laughs> so hopefully, once I finish the stage that I'm pretty much running through fairly recklessly, I will see another Nabbit location somewhere else. I'm guessing there is going to be one for every world. If there is... If this is the, um... Oh, and I, uh, if there is a way to, um, that really sucked. <laughs> if there's a way to get a fifth star in your save file. But if it, if there isn't a way to get a fifth star in your save file and the max is only four, uh, I guess this will still be new content to you because the Nabbit races are still a challenge, you know, keeping up with him and whatnot. So it would be sort of kind of be like something new, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, let's see if Nabbit appears in another stage, or if I'm going to have to play more and more stages until he appears in another one. I guess we will see! Hmm. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to play a penguin stage. <laughs> Did that do anything? Well, I got a cheap old star out of it. <laughs> oh, one thing I should mention is that one, once I beat the game, I noticed... That, oops, that if you, uh, you can't, like, quick save, you can only save, so, well, that, actually, saving is better than quick saving, but I figured that was a nice thing to, uh, mention as well, because, as I said, saving's a little better than quick saving, because, you know, you lose your quick save when you restart your file. Anyway, I'm gonna keep playing stages until I see Nabbit again. Oh! 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 Oh-ho! It turns out that you can actually die on a stage and he still might appear, so you don't necessarily have to 
complete stages, I guess. Anyway, launch to the Soda Jungle! I've been keeping track of which stages I have actually been uh, beating Nabbit in, believe it or not, this way through. So I got the first four worlds already done. And now I'm going over to the fifth, Jungle of the Giants, Nabbit catching! Oh yeah! You're going down, Nabbit! You're going down! I hate when he jumps, though. His jump is much, much, <laughs> he's much, much faster than his usual run. And that's kind of a, a problem, crappers. <laughs> I would have just take, tanked that hit if I had one there, but yeah, and I'm kind of screwed now, aren't I? Or maybe not. He actually waited for me, so maybe, maybe he's a little bit more lenient than I thought he was. Oops. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to try that one again, and this time... Hopefully win it, but I'm gonna use another mushroom. I'm just taking advantage of my item stock here. <laughs> just because I can. I've got so many items, I might as well use them, you know? I figured to make these Nabbit stages a little bit easier, and, you know, we've already seen these stages before anyway, so it doesn't really make much difference if I'm beating them the normal way or if I'm doing it the uh, grab an item before you start the stage way. <laughs> Ah, that part is like a gauntlet of enemies. <laughs> it's got me twice in a row, and it's pretty tricky. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to fall down there. I wanted to bounce off giant Goomba Supreme. Oh, 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 yeah! I knew I had him there. Because it was nice and wide open. All right, so I'm just going to suicide on a bunch of stages until uh, Nabbit appears again, I suppose, because it seems to be the fastest way to get him to appear. And I'll see you when he pops up next time, I suppose. Three suicides later. <laughs> yeah, suiciding is definitely the fastest way to get him to appear again, unless you, you know, you don't have lives or something like that. <laughs> so, Rock Candy Mines is next! Launch! Well, I should say fly, because I was already in the air and I was saying launch. <laughs> Yeah, I know this is the shortcut to his domain there, and hopefully I will be able to pull off a win. You know what? Maybe stars would actually be handy for these Navid battles. Well, not battles, Navid catching, because I can kind of like tank through everything. So maybe this is like the only time I could ever find use for the stars, maybe? Oh boy, oh! Well, so much for the star. <laughs> I didn't mean to grab onto the uh, uh, chain there, but that's just how things go, I suppose. Mm, I really don't want to use the power acorns, or super acorns, excuse me. Let's do it! Come on! Ah! No, don't grab the chain this time, Mario. I think he does it automatically. <laughs> so I guess I can tell him not to do something that he's gonna do anyway. Oh, Mario, I wish you obeyed me a little bit better. Oh, I tried to get him there, and it... Oh, that worked. I tried to get a jump on him, but alas. I think he's as fast as you when he's running, but he's faster than you when he jumps, but he stalls when he's about to jump, and that's how you can catch up with him, or when he's going up a hill or something like that. Anyway, uh, looks like it's more suicide time. <laughs> three more suicides later. I guess three is the magic number for stages, or I should say runs you have to play in order for Nabbit to reappear or something like that. I'm just going to take a walk over there. I think it would be faster to walk there than it would be to take the cannon this time. And up here and around we go. There we go. And I should probably use an item. Oh, fine. <laughs> I'm not going to be flying, of course, because that's going to slow me down. Uh, this one shouldn't be too hard to get him on, because if I recall, the stage, it was pretty flat. Well, not, aside from these, but I mean, like, there wasn't, there wasn't much to get in your way, per se. And, oh no, I didn't mean to do that, I wanted to do my floaty jump, but not my fly. Flying is bad when you're trying to catch Nabbit, I noticed that before. Ah, I guess that's fine, I don't really care now that. 
My in intent is not... Haha! -ha. <laughs> that was the easiest one yet, because he got stuck at that spot and he couldn't go any further. Because of the seesaw itself. Alright, so there's one more world to go before I figure out if I'm gonna get five stars, I suppose. So it looks like it's more suiciding time! Wait, wait what? So there's not one in the eighth world? Yep, I guess Nabbits are the ones that trigger... I mean, you have to get Nabbit in every stage in order to get the 5th star. And the rest is 100%ing the game, basically. <coughs> yeah! And now the game is, I'm guessing, officially 100% complete? Maybe? Although I didn't find any moons. I don't know how those... I don't know how you find those things, but... <laughs> Um, you know what I should do? Let's check out our save file here before I end off the part. Yeah. I forgot, it doesn't save and quit. <laughs> I'm used to the quick save. There you go! Oh yeah, five stars. And they appear to be shining as well. Maybe that's because I didn't use any super blocks. Because I remember, in the, as I said in the original New Super Mario Brothers, uh, we, if you use the super guide block, you would um, lose out on your chance to get five shiny stars. Or I should say, if you even get the super guide block, you know, like if it actually appears, you're screwed out of getting five stars on it. I mean, five shiny stars. But it looks like I am done with the story mode for good. Well, until I make a second run of it off camera for fun, because you know I'm I'm inevitably going to be playing through this game again just because this game was so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, this was, as I said, very fun the way through, despite the, um... Wait, I, actually, I never said that before, did I? This game was very fun to play from start to finish, even though I, you know, I had trouble with people telling me where things were and whatnot. But, <laughs> whatever, it's in the past. So... Oh, and I also noticed that the number 94 on the file is flashing. That might be another indicator that I found all the exits, like another thing. I guess maybe it's not complete because I don't have 99 lives on the save file at the moment, but I suppose I could go back and get that later. <laughs> but yeah, this, this game was fantastic. The level design was top notch. A couple of them were quite revolutionary, I have to say. Overall, the fun factor, which is the most important, way up there. <laughs> I definitely recommend this game, and I'm going to end off this part. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next part.